appointment that can't be skipped. There's an appointment that can't be dodged. There is an appointment that can't not be avoided. It is appointed unto man once to die, and after this, the judgment. Hallelujah. There are appointments uh, uh, in our stage of life. Hallelujah. How many know the human life cycle? There is an appointment. There is a birth. Hallelujah. Uh, and then after we're infants, and then uh, we become into childhood. Childhood is usually uh, from age one to ten. Then we move into adolescence, where our body is changing, and uh, we're going to do hair, maybe. I don't uh, know. Uh, and the body is changing. We go to adolescence, and and that's from twelve to eighteen. And then we go to adulthood. These are stages in our life. These are appointed by God. Hallelujah. And then we get to the age of adulthood, which is from eighteen and then on. You know. They say, uh, what's it, after 40, it's all downhill, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't like that, because I'm 39, I'm just about to. <laughs> but, uh, you know, <laughs> these are stages in our life, and they're appointed. Uh, Psalms 39 and 5 reads, Behold, thou hast made my days as an hand breath, and my age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Yes. Uh, and that six, that is that the is that all of that right there? Is that number six? Surely every man walketh in a vain show. And to break that down, I got I got I got the good news translation. Uh, show how short you have made my life. This is what they've been saying. In your sight, my lifetime seems nothing. Indeed, every living being is no more than a puff of wind. No more than a shadow. It is appointed unto men once to die. And after this, the judgment. Job said, for I know that To the house appointed for the living. I'm here to tell you that there is a time that we all must die. And many don't want to hear that. Come on. And the ones that don't want to hear that, and many of us Christians don't want to hear it yet either. But if we knew what was prepared for us on the other side. It questions, hallelujah, many men and women today. They're always, I, I don't know anybody can actually be ready in this physical life for a close one that dies. I know we say we can, but somebody, when somebody dies close to you, it still shakes you. You're right. It, 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 it makes you think about your mortality. You're right. And that, that was my close, my brother, my sister, my close relative, they, they died, I, and it always puts me, when I, when I have a close relative or that have passed on, it makes me think, when is my time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it is appointed unto all of us to die, yes. and yes. after this, the judgment. Yes. Yes. The bad thing is not dying, mm -hmm. it's after death. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm.
change it, it flex, it fluxes in there. And from this we get our month, and we can distinguish our days on earth by this cycle. Yes. By the time it gets around, it's, 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 we understand that it hits the same place, and we see the constellations there, there, and we know by a mark, it says by a mark or a sign we see, mm -hmm. and we are able to distinguish times because of this. Mm -hmm. The earth orbits around the sun, which gives us our seasons. Right. Mm. Uh, our season meaning uh, seasons meaning uh, appointed time. Uh, seasons are appointed times. Uh, uh, summer is an appointed time. Uh, fall is an appointed time. Winter is an appointed time. Spring is an appointed time. These are all appointed by God. I'm going somewhere. It is appointed unto man once to die, and after this the judgment. Uh, the, pre the creatures know their appointed time. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, wow, the creatures know that point in time. Then I went to Psalms 104 and 20 uh, through 27. It says, uh, Lord, thou hast made, thou makest darkness. Mm, hallelujah. And in his night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep. You ever watch a National Geographic when the animals at night, they come out and hunt? That's right. They know their point in time. They creep forth. The lion roars after their prey and seek their meat. Where are they seeking from? God. God. Hallelujah. The sun arises. They gather themselves. The animals gather themselves together and lay them down in their dens. So when the sun comes up, they know when to go back in and lay down. Because they know their point of time. Man goeth forth unto his work and in his labor until the evening. Most of us go to work in the morning. We come home from work in the evening. Oh Lord, how manifold. How how plenteous. How past finding out. How exceeding are your are thy works. In wisdom thou hast made them all. He made all creatures, creatures, man and animals. The earth is full of thy riches, so is the great and wide sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, mm. both small and great beasts. There go the ships, there is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. It is said that that is a crocodile, but they really don't know. But the <laughs> Leviathan, whom thou hast made, plays in there, in the water. These wait all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in their what season, or in their appointed time. It's appointed unto man once to die, and after this the judgment. The birds migrate to survive the cold weather. Nature declares that they hear their appointed time. Uh, the insects burrow into the ground to escape the winter months, that they may live and bring forth their offspring. Bears go and hibernate. They know their appointed time by the seasons. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. They know their appointed time. Fish, they migrate. There's certain fish that migrate. And you see those salmon that swim upstream. You're right. They yeah. jump and they, they go to spawn. Yes. They know when it's time to do that. But why is it that we that are living 